Hello, dear student. Today we will discuss mammography. What is a mammogram? A mammogram is an X-ray picture of the breast. Mammograms can be used to, to check for breast cancer in women who have no signs or symptoms of the disease. This type of mammogram is called a screening mammogram. Screening mammograms usually involve two or more X-ray pictures or images of each breast. The X-ray images often make it possible to detect tumors that cannot be felt. Screening mammograms can uh, also find microcalcification, tiny deposits of calcium that sometimes indicate the presence of breast cancer, as you can see on the slide. Mammograms can also be used to check for breast cancer after a lump or other sign of symptoms of the disease has been found. The type of mammogram is called a diagnostic mammogram. Beside a lump, sign of breast cancer can include breast pain, sickening of the skin of the breast, nipple discharge or a change in breast size or shape. However, the signs may also be signs of benign conditions. A diagnostic mammogram can also be used to evaluate changes found during a How a screening and diagnostic mammogram different? The same machines are used for both types of mammograms. However, diagnostic mammography takes longer to perform than screening mammography and the total dose of radiation is higher because more X-ray images are needed to obtain views of the breast from several angles. The technologist may magnify a suspicious area to produce a detailed picture that can help the doctor make an accurate diagnosis. What are the benefits and potential harms of screening mammograms? Early detection of breast cancer with screening mammography means uh, the treatment can be started early in the course of the diseases. Possible before it has spread, randomized clinical trials and other studies show the screening mammography can help reduce death from breast cancer among women ages 40 to 78 years at average risk of breast cancer, with the evidence of benefit being strongest for women ages 50 to 69 years. However, no studies to date have shown a benefit from regular screening mammography in women under age 80 uh, or from baseline screening mammograms. Mammography used for comparison taken before uh, age 14. The benefits of screening mammography need to be balanced against its harms, which include false positive results. False positive results occur when radiologists see an abnormality uh, is potential positive on a mammogram, but no cancer is actually present. All abnormal mammograms should be followed up with additional testing, diagnostic mammograms, ultrasound and or biopsy to determine whether cancer is present. False positive mammograms result can lead to an anxiety and other form of a physiological distress in affected women. The additional testing required to rule out cancer can also be costly and time-consuming and can cause physical discomfort. The chance of having a false positive result increases uh, with the number of mammograms a woman has. More than 50% of women screened annually for 10 years in the United States will experience uh, a false positive result and many of these women will have a biopsy. 
overdiagnosis and overtreatment. Screening mammograms can uh, find cancers. And cases of ductal carcinoma in situ, DCIC, a non-invasive tumor in which abnormal cells that may become cancerous build up in the lining of breast ducts that need to be treated. However, they can also find cases of ductal carcinoma and small cancer that would never cause symptoms of threatening a woman's life. This phenomenon is called overdiagnosis. Treatment of overdiagnosis cancer and overdiagnosis case of ductal carcinoma is not needed and results in overtreatment because doctor cannot easily distinguish cancer and ca uh, cases of uh, ductal carcinoma that need to be treated from the those that do not. They are all treated. Also, we can see false negative results. False negative results in cancer screening. A negative result means no abnormality is present. False negative results occur when mammograms appear normal even thought breast cancer is present. Overall screening mammograms means about 20% of breast cancer that are present at the time of screening. False negative results can lead to delay in treatment and a false sense of security for affected women. One cause of false negative results is high breast density. Breast contain uh, both dense tissue, glandular tissue and connective tissue, together known as a fibroglandular tissue and fatty tissue. Fatty tissue appears dark in mammograms, whereas fibroglandular tissue appears in the white areas, as you can see on slide. Because fibroglandular tissue and tumors have similar density, tumors can be harder to detect in women with dense, denser breasts. False negative results occur more often among younger women than among older women because younger women are more likely to have dense breasts. As a woman ages, her breasts usually become more fatty and false negative results become uh, less likely. Some breast cancers grow so quickly that they appear within months of a normal negative screening mammogram. This situation does not present a false negative result because the negative result of the screening was correct, but it means that a negative result can give a false sense of security. Some of uh, the cancers missed by screening mammograms can be detected by clinical breast exam, physical exams of the breast done by a health care provider. Finding breast cancer early may not reduce a woman's chance of dying from the disease. Even so, uh, mammograms can detect malignant tumors that cannot be felt. Treating a small tumor does not always mean that the woman will not die from the cancer. A fast-growing or aggressive cancer may have already spread to other parts of the body before it's it is detected. Instead, women uh, with such tumors have a longer period uh, of time knowing that uh, they likely have a potential fatal disease. In addition, finding breast cancer early may not help prolong the life of women who have a suffering from other more life-threatening health conditions. Radiation exposure. Mammograms require very small dose of radiation. The risk of harm from the radiation is low, but repeated X-ray have the potential to cause cancer. 
also the potential benefits of mammography nearly always uh, outweigh the potential harm. What can I find current recommendation for screening mammography? Many organizations and professional societies, including the United States Preventive Services Task Force, uh, which is convened by the Agency of Healthcare Research and Quality, a federal agency, have developed guidelines for mammography screening. All recommended that women talk uh, with their doctor about the benefits and harms of mammography when to start screening and how often to be screened. What is the best method of screening for breast cancer? Regular, high-quality screening mammography and clinical breast exams are the most sensitive ways to, the, to screen for breast cancer. Regular breast self-exams, that is the checking one's own breast for lumps of other unusual changes is not specifically recommended for breast screen, cancer screening. On next presentation, we will discuss a breast imaging reporting and database system by RATS assessment. The American College of Radiology ACR has established a uniform way uh, for radiologists to describe mammogram findings. The system called BIRATS includes seven standardized categories or levels. Each BIRATS category has a follow-up plan associated with um, a to help radiologists and other physicians appropriately manage a patient's care. Dear students, that's all. Goodbye.